Hello everybody. Today I am doing a review and it is the 2017 calendar I'm using or planner. I decided on the Franklin Covey Classic Planner Love Planner and Binder. I used this same style of binder last year and I really like the size and I really like the quality and the rings are gold which is one reason I also like the binder. So this was my binder last year and I thought it was so cute and I used the coral inserts. This year I've chosen the botanical inserts. I can't wait to show you those. That's the reason I even stuck with Franklin Covey this year was those beautiful botanical um, prints on the inserts. So this is the classic size. It is sort of equivalent to the A5 size. This is an A5 in Filofax. Uh, you can see they're a little different. My classic size is a bit thicker, so I think the rings are bigger. Um, one may be taller, I'm not sure. Yeah, I think, well, I don't know. I'm, I'm, they're not exact size, but they're sh so cl close in size. The difference is the rings. The Filofax has seven, six rings, and the classic size in the Franklin Covey has seven rings, so they're not compatible when it comes to rings. But the nice thing is Franklin Covey has um, several colors in this classic size. They have ivory, they have pink, bright, bright pink with gold dots. They have navy, they have a mint green and ivory stripe, like a mint green stripe and then an ivory stripe. They have, what else? Oh, a gorgeous black and white stripe. And all the interiors are the same as this one, which is the black and white polka dot. I bought this gold binder in November. It's no longer online, but I did email Franklin Covey and they said they do have a few for phone-in orders but not for online so if you're dead set on getting the gold in this particular binder you can always call their customer service but I know Filofax also has several different sizes of gold binders uh, so you just look around but I was actually debating between the gold and the ivory the ivory binder is gorgeous with these inserts this is an interesting uh, thing right here. Some people like it and some people don't. I do. It's a closure that is a magnet rather than a snap and it works beautifully I think. Um, you can hear it when it finds itself and look I'm like stuffed to the gills and that thing is still closed. I never had a problem with mine last year. It was the same closure. Oh and there's the little Franklin Covey heart I forgot to show you right there. So I like that sort of closure. I don't have anything here rough. It's just a smooth, smooth um, surface. I think it's pretty that way. So let's look inside. In fact, I'll start with the back. You have a pen loop, which is elasticized, so it grows with whatever size pen or pencil you put in there. It has a nice pocket for a pad of paper. It has the Franklin Covey logo right there. Then it has a bunch of pockets up front. It has this slip pocket here that I've got my notepad in right here. Nice size. And then I've got one, two, three, four, five credit card slots that are this size. One of them is clear so you can put a photo in here or whatever you like. And as you can see, I don't use it for credit cards. I use it for fun, inspirational things. So this is my dashboard. I got it from Franklin Covey. You know, I never knew what a dashboard was until I kept seeing it referred to on YouTube. So I finally looked it up and I love these things. It is a piece of cardboard that is laminated or at least made shiny so that uh, you can put sticky notes on it or washi tape, and washi tape is just pretty colorful um, 
masking tape. And that's what these little strips are. They're gold and white polka dot foil washi tape. I found those at my local craft store. And I'll be sure to put everything I'm talking about online because most of everything I have here is available online. Uh, with the exception of the binder, like I said, this at least this color. So that's the dashboard in the Classic Planner Gold series. And then it's got the cute polka dots on the back. Then this is a set of five plastic pockets I got from Franklin Covey. They are, each is different. This one is a zipper pocket. I keep these cute uh, paperclip flags in here and that's one of them here that I'm using and those are handy then I can I also put I don't have the highlighters in here right now because I was using them but I um, keep my hi some highlighters in here as well then you get a set of flip out card holders there's 10 so you could put at least 20 cards and see them on both sides Card holder number two, it has four slots, one, two, three, four. I've just slid a big photograph in this one and some, a pretty, uh, actually it was the top to a note card and I started to write the note card to someone. I made a mistake and I didn't want to throw the, the cover away so I cut off the other part and kept this. Uh, my business cards. I keep extras in there. I don't keep other people's business cards. I tend to put that information immediately in my iPhone. A photo I took years ago. This house was so beautiful. It was on the beach in Boca Grande. I just thought it was such a pretty house. And then this pocket and this pocket are both uh, the same, actually. And these are just deep slip pockets. You get to them from the top. So that's the set of five plastic pockets. It's less expensive if you buy them all together than separately. This is a set of two sets of magnets. These are great for flagging things in the calendar pages, uh, using them to hold paper like this. As you can see, um, the nice thing about these magnets is they don't cause marks on whatever you're using. They're not like a paper clip. Um, all they are is cardboard with magnets attached. So here's the one side, and then here's the two magnets. And then the way they work is, say you've got, they find themselves. So they're very handy. The sets are, one is the gold set and one is the botanical set. You get six with each. I'm using several in the notebook, but one, two, three, four. There are five here of the gold and four here of the botanical. So I just put them on a piece of cardboard to store them. This is my page divider from last year. I think it's the Coral series. It came with my planner. I'm using it to put my sticky notes. If it's still available, because they sold them separately too, I will put that on my blog. I will put all of the information on my blog and I'll put the link to my blog in the description box below. Okay, here we're getting to the first of the four pockets I bought and you're getting to see the botanical theme. I just think it's so gorgeous. Gorgeous. The deep, rich colors. Happy. Beautiful. Um, just, I can't get enough of the, the botanical. Um, I love to garden. I love beautiful gardens. It's classic style. It's um, just beautiful colors. So that's one of the pockets. Then this is one of the 12 page dividers I bought. The calendar itself or planner, it's a 12 month calendar, starts in December 27, January, it starts in January 2017 and goes to December, but it doesn't have any page dividers. So you either use your own or make them, or I bought theirs, tab dividers, and they're gorgeous. There are, everyone is different and they're different on the back than they on the front. Each one has a plasticized tab. So you can, it comes with these sticky labels. 
So one is all these sort of things. I tried to use one, as you can see here, but I saw that they were permanent. They weren't going to come back off. So I decided I didn't want to do that. And then the other one is all the months. So I didn't want to do permanent because I want to use these things uh, year after year. And I do not put but three months in my calendar, in my binder at a time. And the remainder of the calendar I put in a storage binder. I'll show you that later. So I use the rest of the, the nine other tab dividers for different categories. In my case, all of them pertain to my blog and YouTube channel. It's all the different categories that I like to do uh, blogs and videos on. So. And sometimes those categories might change, but the months definitely change because I have three months in here at a time and I needed a way to do it that wasn't permanent. And so let me show you quickly um, what I did to be able to have an temporary labels. So these are my labels. You can see I've written the months. And what it is, <laughs> is these post-it tabs and I simply I only used maybe two because I didn't write very large there's like this right this is what they look like you're supposed to stick this to the paper and write on this part well I actually cut off this part and used cut strips of this sticky and wrote on this and it becomes sort of a frosted, more or less clear looking label that you can peel right back up because it's a post-it note. So let's talk about how gorgeous they are. I forgot to get into that. This is the first one. It's if you can't stop thinking about it, don't stop working for it, work it. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so then I've just got some lined paper I bought at the office supply store. Here's another tab divider, gorgeous gorgeous. So here's the planner, the calendar, and it's gorgeous. You can see the little detail of the botanical here. So this is a two pages on a week and or a week on two pages and a month on two pages style. Inside the front of this cover are 2017, 2018, 2019, just a small calendar for you to see, you know, quick reference. Uh, here's another pocket. This one, I'm putting one of my four pockets in each of my months. So I have three pockets for the three months. And then that front pocket was just miscellaneous. Gorgeous. This one's got the peach polka dots. So now let me get back to the calendar. So this is January. Got the floral motif here. It starts each month with a, an index of important information recorded on this month's daily or weekly notes. You know, I don't use this very much, this part. I didn't last year and I probably won't this year. But so, and then next comes the month, but I want to show you in February because it's not written on. <laughs> I've already started writing in January. It's all messy. So here's another pocket. This is the pocket for February, another event coming up. <clears throat> this is Naples Orchid Society's annual show and sale. It's at Naples Botanical Garden on February 25 to 26. I've just stuck that in there. So here's February. There's that index. Then here's the month. Here's one of the ways I use washi tape. I uh, hear um, it's Valentine's Day, so if it's a birthday or Christmas or Thanksgiving, a holiday, I'll use washi tape to just sort of mark it off so I can see quickly that that's a special day. So that's February. You can see a month on two pages. This was the tab or page finder that came with it. It's also got the botanical. Let me show you up close. Oh, it's just gorgeous, gorgeous. Then we turn to the next pages that are in February. <clears throat> 
These are what you'll see before the week on two pages. This has February personal and business master task list and then weekly tasks. So here's one of those magnets. I've used it to flag a day. Uh, there's nothing going on here yet, but I wanted to show you. I use these to flag the days that I film videos and I've just randomly put it here to demonstrate so that I can quickly look and see that's what I'm doing that week. But that's how handy those magnets are because I can also move it around. So that's what the week looks like on two pages. But then it just goes on to weekly notes and weekly tasks afterwards. And then it goes on, I believe, to the next week. Yes. So that's February. I'm going to zoom through and so show you the rest of the tab dividers because they're so pretty and the pockets. Beauty begins the moment you decide to be yourself. Coco Chanel. Beautiful. Beautiful saying and beautiful artwork. Just gorgeous. Another pocket. Don't just fly. Soar. And again, another event coming up in March. Oh, these pockets and these dividers are so pretty. Then here's the print on March. I know, let me show you the rest of the calendar pages and I can show you the binder they're stored in. So this is the storage binder where I'm keeping all the rest of the calendar. It's got super large rings. Let me show you the rest of the calendar really quickly because I want you to see the patterns. So that's April. There's May. June is pink and white stripe. July is black and white polka dots. August is the bright pink and white stripes. September is soft pink and white polka dots. October is the bright stripes. November is green and white polka dots. And December is back to the gorgeous floral. So that's the botanical 12 month calendar, week on two pages, and a month on two pages. I will put the binder information in my blog also in case you're interested in that. Back to my planner here. The rest of my tab dividers I'm using, as I told you, for my different categories, so I'll just go through those quickly because I know this video is running long, but this is beautiful tab divider. Make today so awesome that yesterday gets jealous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh, here's one of those flags I wanted to show you that I had up front. That's how they work. Oh, they come in these really cute containers. These are the little ones with floral and these are the bigger ones. They stand up on your desk or you can put them, you know, in the desk drawer. It's another tab divider. Great things are done by a series of small things brought together. That's Vincent van Gogh. Another tab divider here. Don't just fly. So we're she was unstoppable, not because she did not have failures or doubts, but because she continued on despite them. And the last tab divider, gorgeous, gorgeous, more paper. As you can see, I have my calendar packed full, uh, loose leaf paper. And then I did buy, no, this one I already had. This is by a company called Design a Day. So evidently Design a Day at one point, if not still, has inserts that will fit because this one worked. This is my washi tape. And then these are a couple of really cute Kate Spade paper clips that I've got in here. And then lastly, this note pad is also from the Botanical series. 
planner love it fits in this pocket beautifully and that is my whole planner so that is my video I hope you learned some things that you were interested in and I hope you enjoyed this video that's my planner love binder and inserts and I will talk to you in my next video bye